You're listening to MPS Connections with your host, A.J. Hoffman. Hello, friends. Welcome to MPS Connections. I'm your host, A.J. Hoffman. I'm joined today by a couple managers that run the Charter Shop. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Mark Bischewski. Uh, I am a teacher here at Dow High and the main advisor for the Charter Shop here. And I'm not only Maranek, I'm a student manager and I'm a junior here at Dow High. Perfect. Uh, Natalie, what encouraged you or made you want to pursue a position as one of the managers of the Charger Shop? Well, I don't know if you know this, but last year was Mr. B's first year, so we were all kind of figuring stuff out here. And um, I was a little kind of unaware of like that you could be a manager as a student. So Mr. B actually approached me and I think that him and the other managers had like a specific set of characteristics they were looking for. I was involved in the accounting class here as well as the sales and merchandising class. So I kind of fit those because we were losing our finance manager. So that's kind of my primary role here, finance. But um, he came to me and I said, of course, I didn't really have um, any like doubts about it or anything. Um, It's something that I've always been interested in and it gets me more acquainted with the business world. So it it was a no brainer for me. That's awesome. Uh, Mr. B, walk me through some of the fundamentals of business and marketing that the students are kind of picking up through the course of working here in the shop. Yeah, as Natalie said, though, with some of the classes that, that she's been a part of, uh, students who take me for sales and merchandise operations have an opportunity to work here in the store. So it's a great real world uh, case study, uh, example, internship, job shadow, all those things kind of rolled into one where we can talk about the items in class and they see them in the store. We can talk about things that happen in the store and translate it back to the classroom. So giving all those experiences of customer service, service with a smile, greeting folks when they come in to every aspect of running the store, to ordering supplies, to ordering those amazing Otis Monkmeyer cookies uh, from a local vendor, to uh, designing all this amazing apparel that you see behind me. Those are all student managers uh, who take the reins and truly drive uh, and get the skill set from the classes and then just being here uh, with experiential learning. Awesome. Can you talk to me about some of those obstacles that the charter shop faces? Sure. Um, Well, when I first took over last year, we were still sort of at the tail end of the, uh, the shipping, uh, the end of COVID, so so to speak, with the uh, all the challenges with shipping and getting items in. So there wasn't a lot of uh, a lot of items that we could order uh, in certain name brands that people would actually want. So we definitely struggled with uh, what do we have, what that we had left in the store when I took over. To we need to obviously design some new stuff and get things in. So we went with some other brands, different styles, alternatives to get some of those items in here to have things to actually fill uh, the walls and the floor space of the store here. So it definitely was a big challenge. I could see that as being a big challenge for sure. Natalie, I'm sure you've encouraged that you've encountered a lot of that stuff. Can you um, tell me a little bit about like some of the things that you've learned here in in the course of um, working in retail and entrepreneurship and why you may or may not want to maybe pursue entrepreneurship after you get out of school? Yeah, so um, Mr. B said we experienced some COVID like supply chain issues. So obviously we are still experiencing that with a couple of our products here. So it's gotten me um, more experience with like handling adversity and stuff like that. Um, I've had to work through a couple problems and talk with people. So it's helped me have more of a business professional um, aspect about me. And I think I've definitely gotten a lot more personable with the things I say to people and how I talk to people. Um, I think working in the shop as a manager, too, is also a great experience to learn um, a whole different kinds of leadership. Um, Obviously, I'm taking care of a whole store and I'm taking care of the workers here and helping them learn as well as I'm learning. So it's been tough, but I think I've done pretty good with the adversity and learning new things about myself and learning new things about business. Um, I'm not too sure if business is something I want to pursue yet. I've been thinking about maybe going into the medical field as well, um, but business is definitely top on my list. So, very cool. Besides, uh, besides modeling previous manager style, what were some of the things you picked up, or how did you learn the position? 
Um, I learned the position, honestly, from my other managers. They're like some of my best friends. Um, I spend an hour or two with them every single day. And we talk about everything from like school <laughs> to how we're going to get um, new things in next week. So they definitely told me a bunch of um, like, hey, do you want to do this? Or hey, our old manager used to do this. Um, but last year when the old finance manager is here, I came in a couple of times and learn um, how to do deposits and work a bunch of the reports on the computer so I can handle those for this year and next year. Oh, very good. Uh, Mr. B, what are some of the, what's some of the advice you might impart on an incoming manager? Um, flexibility. <laughs> that one word, flexibility is very key. Yeah. Um, you can have a vision uh, and then things are going to supply chain, for example. Uh, it's uh, stalemated. Uh, things might be delayed in coming things might be come wrong based on designs that we might have approved we might be waiting six months for something that we thought would only take a few weeks um, so there's all sorts of bumps that could happen in the road but my i guess my advice would be it, it could be it's very easy for me to uh, jump in here and say all right we're going to do everything the way i want to do it but being that we're obviously tied in with the high school here and students truly manage the store and then other students in my classes work in the store under the store managers the whole point is to have this experiential learning so I'm not going to do everything and now we can uh, agree or disagree but um, <laughs> I really empower them quite a bit to say what, well, what do you think we should do um, I want to get them in an environment of they're making some decisions and it is like she mentioned it is a leadership uh, type role and position with the convenience of having it, you know, during the middle of the school day. So um, that would be my advice is to uh, be flexible, patient, uh, and let the kids uh, try new things, let the kids fail so we can learn from it. Uh, you know, there's some of the merchandise that we order. Sometimes we, we hit right on and it sells out. Other times it might not sell out. So then we have a decision to make of, well, what are we going to do to move this merchandise out of here otherwise it's just going to sit on the shelf and collect us so there's all sorts of business uh, uh, topics and uh, ideals that uh, they get to incorporate and it's really cool for me to hear them say you know what if we do this and it's like yes that's exactly what i was thinking i'm so glad you said it all. right coming up with new ideas and stuff right mm -hmm. how about you natalie what, what kind of advice would you would you impart into onto the next manager coming into your role i think Definitely take everything in. Like you're only here for two years and you really do want to make an impact on your school and the store is a great way to do that. Um, I'd also say roll with the punches, you know. Um, stuff's not going to go your way, like Mr. B said. And it's everything's a learning opportunity. And if you get beat up about something not working or something not being able to come in, um, then it's definitely not going to go well. But if you stay on the po more positive side and you keep being creative with your team and you work with your team, you're going to find an environment that you truly enjoy to work in. Very cool. What What's the best seller in here? What do what do people usually come in and, and buy the most? Mm. Start with apparel wise, because I'm sure people buy a lot of ice cream and cookies and <laughs> oh, things yeah. like that. Monster right? energy drinks. <laughs> Monster um, energy drinks. Right? I would say the sweatshirts have been yeah. selling pretty well. I'd agree um, with that. We those were the first couple items that we tried to get in with with all the delays with all the brand names of Nike, and we worked with our our vendors uh, last year and as we do this year, and them telling us if you want a Nike sweatshirt, it's going to be about ten months. Yeah. Um, and it was probably, it would have been longer. So we had to look at different avenues, but people uh, here, I mean, especially the time of year, uh, it's a little on the cooler side and they, pretty much any sweatshirt we've, the students have designed, we've, we've sold um, uh, white ones, black ones, gray, yeah. dark green. Um, we try to have a variety of things. So it's not all um, one color or one yeah. backdrop. So, um, and even exploring into some of the, some of the items, uh, black polo shirts, uh, winter knit hats, gloves, yeah. um, just kind of mixing it up uh, for those to uh, uh, complement the, the green and gold that they already <laughs> might own. So. Did you say some of these are, are student designed? Um, I would say all of these are student yep. designed. They're all student yep. designed? Yep, wow, they've, uh, our cool. student managers uh, have worked with uh, our vendors to either freehand draw designs or items, wow. or there's a software system that one of our uh, main vendors that we utilize uh, has, and it's, it's uh, 
not say it's easy, but I think it is easy yeah. to simply plug and play logos, type certain font, you can change the color, change the backdrop of the, the article of clothing, and truly they've designed some of the stuff that I love, and it's it. I mean, I probably have one of everything in the store, um, <laughs> to, but I really, I really do like it. I don't just yeah. grab something just because it's here. Um, it's going to be, you know, fashionable and practical. I think we have a lot of stuff. To know. Students do a great job. Abby and I couldn't help but shop around as soon as we walked in, and, yes. and I've been in here a dozen times. But yeah, it's it's uh, kind of a stimulating experience to just instantly want to shop as soon as you walk in. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, well, thank you both for your time today. Uh, that is our show. We'd like to thank all of our listeners around the district, around the country, and around the world for tuning in. We have launched a district Instagram page, and you can find and follow us by searching for the handle at Midland Public Schools. If you have a story idea, photo op, or event that you'd like to promote, you can email us at communications at midlandps.org. Thanks again for listening to MPS Connections, and we'll catch you again in two weeks. Do you have an idea for a podcast? Email us at communications at midlandps.org.